Thank you. Be seated. Because you are in a Bible-believing church, and because you are in a miracle-practicing church, you are in a church where God is not the God that used to be. I hope you are hearing me. You are in a church tonight where God is not the God that used to be. He's the God that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Few places on earth I get to and God gives me revelation and anointing. I said so not too long ago in Miami that there are a few pulpits when you stand. The Lord can tell you I'm with you there. You don't preach to please man. You preach to exalt Christ. For the years, God has given me opportunity to come here through his servant here. Whom we have known for years. Whenever I stand here, God gives me an unusual message. Tonight, I do not want to preach what Benahim preaches, what someone else preaches. I want to preach what God has given me for you as his own child. Don't Come to this church and miss your timing. Are you hearing me? What you saw in Arkansas, you see it here. But don't be a spectator. Be a participator. I told Dr. Benny here when this girl was singing on the film we watched. God took her from victim to victor. Do you look at the lives of the people that are her parents? That there's no reason for those people to be her parents. But when God gives you a destiny, no man can utter it. That girl would do what God has said she would do. Somebody say amen. amen. Because we live in a world of daily trials, temptations, and frequent bullets, I have to daily be on my knees to ask God how to live, how to overcome, because it was thing about life, or the most exciting thing about life, if not the worst, is that life is a daily thing. When you are in pain, you wish you die. When you need death, it doesn't come. It's when you don't want to die, you die. When you have joy, you don't want it to end. And as soon as you say, oh, this joy, I don't want it to end, then you stop. And because of that, this book called the Bible should become your friend in season and out of season. May I hear you say amen? amen. I preached a message not too long ago on how when you are confronted with war, you didn't invite to come to you. And you have problems, you don't know the answer. And the battle is too strong for you to fight. That God can become the fighter of your battle. Did you hear what I'm saying? So, tonight, I want to preach from two scriptures that has helped me 
in these many years to live in a continent that was full of witches and wizards, demons and power of oppression, but God, to his infinite mercy, has given me victory every day in 54 years. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2. 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2. In verse 1, sorry, chapter 3, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. In verse 1, Paul said, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. And that uh, we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. But the Lord, say that with me everybody. The Lord. I didn't hear you. The Lord. Remember you are Miracle Center. The Lord. Say it loud. Say it louder. The Lord. From the pit of your stomach. The Lord. It's faithful. It's faithful. Now read it together like that. But the Lord is faithful. Who shall establish you? Read it. And keep you. From evil. From evil. The Lord shall establish you. And keep you. From evil. Tell your neighbor, the Lord shall establish you and keep you from evil. Say it louder. The Lord shall establish you and keep you from evil. When I watched the bullet that killed JFK in Dallas and the mystery of up till date how the actual story is yet unknown. With all this sophisticated equipment of the FBI and all man-made bulletproof cars that exist in leadership and saw how death snatched that man in the twinkle of an eye. I began to think that safety is not in any man's hand except in God's hand. Now, the Bible did not say the Lord shall protect you from the snares of the enemy in this chapter. He says, so in many, he says so in many chapters. In many verses of the Bible, God tells you he will protect you from falling. He will keep you from falling. But here, Benny, he said the Lord shall by himself keep you from evil. To be healed is good. To be delivered is good. But when God keep you from sickness is better. Amen. To rise
eyes and walk is a miracle. To be blind and see is a miracle. But not to have a broken leg is a better miracle. Not to ever be blind before you see is a better miracle. When I read this, and he said, God shall keep you from evil. God shall keep you from evil. I told God, don't heal me. Help me not to be sick. Ed. And keep my ears from deafness. The difference between keeping you from evil and being healed after you experience evil is too big to be experienced. So God guarantees that he can keep you from evil. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. God is faithful. 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 Who shall establish you? And after he has made you whom he wants you to be. He will build a hedge of defense around you and keep you from evil. Three years ago, one of our mothers in the ministry you met when you came, you will not remember her. She's 62 years old. She ran to my house and said, Papa, 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 I have something to tell you. I said, what is it? She said, I was praying last night and the Lord said to me, go tell my servant I have placed his life in the deep vault. V-O-L-T. I have hidden his life in a deep vault. And she said, from now, when you travel, I'm no more going to be praying when I hear brain crash. Accident in the air. Hurricane Stephen, Hurricane David, Hurricane Andrew. Because of what God told me, that your life is now hidden in a deep vault. I will now be praying thanksgiving prayer before you come back. I will stop praying anxiety prayers. I said, why did you say so? He said, God told me, the self he has put you, he has not given the spare key to anyone else. <laughs> if you hear me, let me hear you say hallelujah. hallelujah. That is the prayer I have for you tonight. Now the Lord who gave me that covenant, we put you in a very deep safe and refuse to give the spare key to the enemy Amen. to reach your life. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. I read that. And I came to verse 16. Get your Bible, Dr. Ben Hinn. If I can preach to you alone, I'm okay. I've done my job. And verse 16 says, now, 
the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means the lord be with you all somebody say plus me, plus me. Amen. amen the lord himself the lord of peace himself god who do not borrow peace himself God who does not borrow or loan peace himself give you peace always by all means listen to that he himself always by all means give you peace whatever it will cost God to let you have peace always by all means he will give it to you somebody hear what I'm saying somebody may look like you you may look like someone, but there are no two of you. And those of you God gave assignment like me. I'm on assignment. I didn't come to this world by accident. If I came by accident, I would have died when I was thrown to garbage heap 54 years ago. But God knew why he sent me here. And he said, The Lord of peace himself shall give you peace himself. That's, that's the word I want you to take note of. The Lord of peace himself give you peace always. By all means. And I said, God, what do you mean by this? And he said, turn to the book of Matthew chapter 2. Place your hand on the word. He himself. By all means. Always. You can have peace when the choir sing. You can have peace when I preach or when you hear any preacher. But when God gives you rivers of peace, you don't need to hear. If you want joy, you can jump for it. If you want peace, you may dance for it. If you want joy, you may run for it. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Now, if joy become if, Then it will wait for if. That's a bad English. You didn't hear it. If job become if, you want it jump. Then you jump before you get it. That's jumping joy. <laughs> but in peace from God. Samahakoko. The wonder, listen, the God of peace, hear that, say that, God peace. Himself. himself. Let's try it again. The God of peace, Himself, give you peace always. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
the God of peace himself give you peace himself always by himself by all means by himself whatever it will cost God for you to have peace always Hebrew Amen. Greek whatever price God is going to pay always for you to have peace always to let you have it to enable you do what you are called to do by all means he will pay that price without telling you. Hallelujah. You will soon hear what I'm saying. If God says, go to Israel to preach, and the Arab nations announce war they will keep that war till the day you finish your preaching so you can have peace by all means by God who owns peace now in United Nations they are trying to get peace around the world but the covenant you are getting from God today is that you will have peace by all means by the God of peace himself that is different from documented peace that is different from ceasefire he's talking of the peace owned by the author of peace becoming your portion Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Now let's turn to the book of Matthew so you can know what I'm saying. Jesus was sent by God to redeem the world. Jesus was sent by God to save the universe. But there was a man called Herod who lived when Jesus was born. And Herod said, Christ will not leave to do what God sent him. And God said, Jesus will have peace by all means through me. But Herod said, no, you can't have it. Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2. Verse 7. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him. Go search. Find him. Bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, 
and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and mud. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Please turn over this tip for the continuation of this message. Two. Verse 7. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him. Go search. Find him. Bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and mud. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Are you listening to me? Verse 13, ben -Hin. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Look at me, everybody. God said, I, God, am going to hide God, my son. Brother, when God begins to hide God, I know the amen you are saying tonight. Or you are going to say a different amen very soon. God said to Herod, Herod said to himself, I am going to destroy that child so that what God said he's going to do, he wouldn't do it. But God had a better plan. He came to Joseph by dream. And said, Joseph, wake up. Take your wife. Take your child. Flee. How can God Almighty tell Joseph to flee with God the Son? When God wake you up and say, run, don't speak in tongue. <laughs> I know I'm preaching a strange message to you tonight. Don't 
said, Mahako Mohepo Soyodo. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It's true. The one who told you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper is the one that asked you to flee. <laughs> and obedient is better than sacrifice. Don't look for extra security staff. Security staff. Don't employ more when God says free. If you have common sense, don't wait till the angel depart before you flee. God said, Joseph, Herod is coming to destroy the young child. Everything that God has given you Hear this. The devil is interested. Whether it's a gift, a talent, a blessing, or any good thing that can help you to help your generation, the devil is interested. And he will want to destroy it. But God said to Joseph, don't wait and report to the police. Herod is in charge of the police department. Don't wait and tell FBI. He and they, they are one. Flee with the child. And go to Egypt till I bring you words. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Why would God ask Joseph when he God is almighty? He is almighty. He is all wise. He's all strong. He's all powerful. Why would he say flee when he can send umbrella and put over his head? Why will he say flee? Hear me, hear me. Why will God say flee when he can blind Herod not to see the baby? Why will he say flee? When he can bring two million angels to protect the baby. He said, Herod wants to destroy my son. But his life is too early to fight back. Run away with him. Because I want to do something that the whole world will know. I am God. Yeah. Raise your right hand and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Flee! Flee! How many of you know God is not a coward? Amen. How many of you know God is powerful? Amen. How many of you know God is strong? Yeah. How many of you know God is almighty? Yeah. Oh, sister... Susan, when God asks you to flee, don't start seven days prayer and fasting. <laughs> no idea of man can improve on God's instruction. Amen. May I repeat? Whatever good God has done, you can make it better. Can I repeat that? What God is not able to protect, no man can protect it. He's higher than the highest. He's wider than the widest. He's deeper than the deepest. He's bigger than the biggest. 
Now here is God saying, run. Get up, brother. Run. 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 Come back. Stay there. Does that mean that God have no enough power to keep him? Answer. No. Why will he ask Joseph to flee when he's supreme God? Now let me show you how to win war without you fighting. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Benny, I never come to this pulpit for the last many years I have been coming without God giving me a special message. When God said flee with Joseph, Joseph flee with Mary and flee with Jesus, it was not because... Did I ask you to come? <laughs> Stay in Egypt! You are his wife. Follow your husband. <laughs> Run to Egypt. Come on, son. Follow them as Jesus. Baby, follow your parents. Watch me. The Bible says, Stay till I bring you war. This is a message that will help you and I to Jesus come back to do what we are called to do. I repeat, no man is wise enough to improve on God. He is author and finisher. He is beginning and ending. In Egypt till I send you words. Man sometimes is impatient, but God is the God of peace, and He will give you peace by all means, even if He choose to send you to Egypt that you may have peace by all means, always. 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 By all means. Always. 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 By all means. Always. Whatever price God will pay to let you have peace, He will pay it without asking for your assistance. But He asks for your obedience. Listen to verse 14. When He arose, He took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. Joseph did not wait till daybreak. And no man dreams in daytime unless he sleeps. That night when the angel said, Move! Go to Egypt. Joseph said to Mary, pack your things. We are on our way to Egypt according to the word of the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Stay in Egypt. <laughs> Verse 15. And was there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Then he can preach that better because he's from that part. Why would God send Christ to danger zone to preserve him? Pharaoh was going to kill Moses 
in Egypt. But when Jesus was born, God sent Jesus to Pharaoh's territory. And Pharaoh didn't know. God will give you peace by all means. Always. Now listen. I cut it short so they can come back from Egypt. <laughs> Verse 19. Read loud with me, everybody. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the young child." Life. Stand up and shout big hallelujah. hallelujah. I say stand up and shout big hallelujah. hallelujah. Raise your right hand and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Remain standing. Begin to come from Egypt. Don't flee now. Don't run. Rise and come. Rise and come. Rise and come. Come, come, come. Are your ears open, everybody? Amen. Between the time God asked Joseph to take the young child and go to Egypt and stay till he brings them word, God who promised to give you peace by all means, always, by himself, killed Herod. So that Jesus would not be charged for murder. As a young child, he was brought back as a young child. But God said, Go. When you leave Israel to go to Egypt, I will kill Herod. When his funeral service is over, I bring you back. <laughs> For dead that sought the young child's life are dead. Everyone who sought your death, you will not be at home when they die. That's a covenant for you today. When the war is bigger than what you can win by sword and bow and arrow and gun and machet, God will take you away. So he can fight your battle. So when your enemy die, no police will charge you for manslaughter or murder. Don't try to defend yourself. When the enemy is holding bullets and bow and arrow, before you speak in tongues, Ask God, what did you say? And when he said, go to Tampa, stay there and rest. Don't come home till I ask you to return. In the Bible, the elects didn't have sword. And machets. They had God. And any man who wants to live long in the ministry should not buy too much weapons of the flesh. He should hear from God. Yes. 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 
Did you hear what I'm saying? Flee to Egypt. Stay there. Come back to Israel. For they that sought the young child's life are dead. Who killed him? God who told you to go. Kill him before you came back. You are fighting too much war with the bullet you bought. Make God your anchor. You are working too hard. Work less and believe God more. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? You are struggling too much. Ask God for a miracle. And any man that gang to take your life, stay clear till he's buried. They that sought the young child's life are dead. Every herald you have in your marriage is dead. Every herald in your ministry is dead. May I hear you say amen? amen. Every herald in your business is dead. Amen. Every herald in your city is dead. Amen. Every herald in your church is dead. Believe it because you can't kill the king without being killed. But when God killed the king for you, <laughs> when the king died in your absence, no riot, no crisis, no burning of houses. You go in peace and come back in peace. For the God of peace himself shall give you peace by all means. Always. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Whatever price God will pay to let you have peace always by all means including the death of Herod he will do it for you is anybody hearing what I'm saying tonight don't say devil and baptize with the Holy Ghost I speak in tongue. Try me with your bullet. It can't come in. God didn't promise you that. He said, I will give you peace by all means. Always. I wish you would hear what I want to tell you right now. Your day of self-defense is over. <laughs> the Lord is now your defender. By all means, always by himself. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You didn't hear what I said. Let God arise and his enemies will scatter. You have tried all you know to do. Now let God do it for you.
give you peace. Always. 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 Run and not be weary. Always. Walk and not faint. Always. Be in hell. Even as thy soul prospered. Always. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? By all means. No matter how many mistakes you know to make, it's no more your job to do right. God will do it through you. <laughs> Give me a yes! Give me a yes! So hallelujah. hallelujah! By all means, always, by himself. By, himself. by all means. By all means. Always. Always. By himself. by himself. The God of peace himself. Give you peace. Always. Always. By, all by all means. By himself. By himself. You will pray less in anxiety when he himself gives you peace by all means can you say hallelujah, hallelujah. Always. 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 always 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 for they that sought thy life are dead Why was Jesus not at home when Herod died? The people would have said he came to save and he killed Herod. He's guilty. So God said, you go to Egypt. Don't fight. But when you are back, Herod is buried. Does that mean anything to you, Benny? Yeah. You can't do what you are doing and think everybody loves you. But the Lord of peace himself oh. shall give you peace. Always! By all means! By himself. Redemption Hour comes to you from the Church of God Mission International Incorporated Benin City, Nigeria. For further details, prayers and counseling, write Bishop Margaret Idahosa, Box 60 or PMB 1314, Benin City, Nigeria.